It's highway time again, people. Since the Great Northern Highway was such a blast to review with its dangerously radiant glow, it's time to review the other highway which eclipses it in importance. I'm of course talking about the Northwest Coastal Highway. This is a road that connects the last outpost of civilization, Geraldton, civilized is arguable, to the nymphic wildlands of the Pilbara Coast. Truly, there is no place more beautiful and dangerous than the thin bitumen line where the desert meets the sea. Once you travel to Geraldton, probably stopping by the Badgie to potentially get accosted by peacocks while peeing out your fluids, you then need to keep heading north. Make sure to take Chapman Road to reach the Northwest Coastal so that you can reduce the risk of encountering the dangers of Rangeway. This way you'll get to pass probably the saddest place on earth, an inverted Disneyland of a satellite town known as Drummond's, whose eroding beach embodies the spirit of Zewi and the gums of your blackened not covered by Medicare teeth. This is where the fun begins. Besides Northampton, there will be nothing resembling settlements from this point forward. The comfort of overtaking lanes will soon diminish as the inference phase of anything other than cargo, roadkill and the ghost of Dutch explorers foolishly big shaman this quaint land for being flat. That's if it was a normal day. But the grey nomads had sensed something today. The old and wise natives of our warm red earth who roam the country from coast to coast in their camper vans. They have a special sense, you see. Whether through innate power or GWN7 news, armies of them scoured this road I rode with intent to bear witness to something of the greatest astrological significance. I was off to see an eclipse, you see. But one thing I learned after getting my face burnt by a black hole is that the real interesting thing about trips is the journey. All other reasons are merely an excuse. The first major stop in this wilderness is a settlement called Carnarvon. However, I was unable to locate such a place behind the primitive and impenetrable plantations located exactly where a town is meant to be. Some kind of bananas joke made by cartographers, I can only assume. Best avoided. The only sighted attraction of the place besides poor health outcomes is a giant banana, a redundant tool as it's more enjoyably bananas piecemeal and by the trolley floor. Now, unless you're a real sketchy trader, you're a very specific member of the Liberal Party of Australia, there is a little point in staying at the next stop in Manila. However, it is where you are stuck at a crossroads. Turning left to head to a town containing the best and partially secluded beaches on Earth, such as Coral Bay, and the historic Cape of Exmouth. Or turn right and stay on the highway, entering an industrial dystopia with towns like Port Hedland, Caratha, and unmarked grave of Kelpie Dog. Here is my overall review of the Northwest Coastal Highway. A far more bushy, far more white road than other highways like the Great Northern. What I found most fascinating about it was just how much less car wrecks there are. Where the Great Northern Highway has a grungy Mad Max feel, the Northwest Coastal Highway feels like an actual resort trip. In fact, the only crash I'd actually seen on the coastal was a tourist crash that happened on the same day. But the crashes were still still exchanging information. Solid highway, 7.8 out of 10. Much more wet. Don't sleep in your car unless you want bad knees.